you to graduation day. It's a really long road to get into medical school. It's just something that I've been basically planning on since I was roughly about five or six. Seven students from right here in Billings make school history, hoping to solve a growing problem at the same time. Plus, another turn in the case involving the shooting death of a Rocky football player. We'll have the latest update and some good news and bad news when it comes to the iconic Beartooth Highway. The MTN 430 News starts right now. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us on this Friday. I'm Russ Riesinger. Making history, Rocky Vista University marking a milestone in the books today with the graduation of its first seven students. All those students receiving their master's in medical science. Our Marcus Kukova spoke with the students and faculty about how this education will be applied right here in our state. With just over one million people, Montana remains in need. This is the graduation ceremony for the Rocky Vista University Montana College of Osteopathic Medicine inaugural Masters of Medical Sciences program graduation. The only thing longer than the name of today's event is the journey these future doctors are on to solving our state's need for practitioners. Many of these students will stay in Montana. They'll do their residencies here. If you look at where most residents, those individuals who are in their post-medical school training, where they go, it's wherever they do their residency. Master's graduate Joshua Soriano is a veteran from Deer Lodge. I joined the military and became a hospital corpsman out of high school, so I served five years with a deployment to Afghanistan. He knows well that all 56 counties in Montana are considered health professional shortage areas. Our access to medical care was Mm, subpar at best. Growing up, I don't think I ever saw the same position more than once. In its first year of the program, Rocky Vista has also sought talent from outside our state. I come from Brazil, so my area was really underserved, and I saw many um, challenges with people looking for health care. Bianca McRavey's background with health care shortage is seen as caused by too many people as opposed to too few. We have so many challenges in uh, looking for health care, especially the poor population where my demographics is from. Once continents apart, the two graduates look ahead to the same goal. I'm honestly looking forward to helping people. It's just good to be able to know that I can still provide uh, service to a, to, a, to a population that still needs um, help. Marcus Gracova, MTN News. Billings Public Schools will hold their high school graduation Sunday all at the Metra. West High is first to go from 10 until noon. Skyview follows from 2 until 4 in the afternoon with seniors celebrating from 6 until 8. And Central will also hold their graduation that day beginning at 6 p.m. at the high school. The 16-year-old accused of fatally shooting a Rocky football player, Chandler Stalcup, will be tried as an adult. A Yellowstone County judge found the case did not meet the criteria to transfer it back to youth court, ruling it would not protect the community and the nature of the offense warrants prosecution in district court. It's alleged that Sidney DeCrane Jr. shot Stell Cup in the head as he was driving away from a late night house party on October 28th. Stell Cup had arrived at that party in the area of 15th Street West to pick up friends when a fight broke out. That's when DeCrane and the driver of the vehicle, 17-year-old Garrett Dorr, accused of following Stell Cup's car, eventually shooting him in the 900 block of Pauley Drive. Dorr is facing a charge of deliberate homicide by accountability, also charged as an adult. Well, the big storm that brought all the rain and snow is gone, but we still have some lingering showers and thunderstorms, mainly in the northeastern quarter of Montana. Also some spotty showers trying to take place over the Absorcas as well as the Beartooth. But currently, things are quieting down for now. Overnight tonight, we have variable clouds, a little bit milder than it was this morning. We do have scattered showers and thunderstorms in the forecast on Saturday, as well as more breezes and more showers and storms on Sunday. I'll let you know if it's going to affect the entire Memorial Day weekend in just a few minutes. The Montana Department of Transportation believed yesterday's storm would keep the Beartooth Highway closed throughout the weekend, but crews were up bright and early this morning, making significant progress on the snow and ice, so much so that the Montana section, lower gate to Vista Point, is now open for travel. 
The Wyoming side has proven to be a little more troubling, and that work won't be finished until Monday at the earliest, we're told. The Department of Transportation will reconvene then to decide when the complete highway will open. Vehicle reservations will be required for Glacier Parks going to the Sun Road via the West Entrance and the North Fork starting today. Vehicle reservations are required from 6 a.m. through 3 p.m. The reservation checkpoint on going to the Sun Road for eastbound traffic will be located at the turnoff for Apgar Loop Road. The next day reservations are now also available to purchase a vehicle registration. You can go to recreation.gov. Nearly 44 million Americans are expected to hit the road today for the Memorial Day holiday weekend. According to AAA, it kicks off what is likely to be a busy and challenging summer travel season. Dan Grossman has more. Memorial Day weekend is here and Americans are off to the races with travel experts predicting the busiest weekend in almost 20 years. We got here early, um, prepared for the busy travel for sure. AAA expects just under 44 million people to travel at least 50 miles from home between Thursday and Monday. Air travelers be warned, the Federal Aviation Administration predicts this will be the most traveled Memorial Day weekend in 14 years, with nearly 54,000 flights taking off on Thursday. TSA expects to screen 3 million people on Friday alone. Seems pretty sufficient. They got a lot of TSA areas and also security areas, so that also just helps. Prepare for some traffic jams, too, because AAA says more than 38 million people are traveling by car this weekend, an all-time high since they started tracking in 2000. Hurt says the cities with the highest rental car demand are Orlando, Denver, Atlanta, Boston, and Las Vegas, with Thursday and Friday being the busiest rental pickup days. Travel-related prices are looking good for most, with airfares, hotels, and rental cars down from last April, according to recent government numbers, while the average cost of gas nationwide is seven cents higher than a year ago. And this is just a taste of what's possibly to come this summer. The trade group for U.S. Airlines, Airlines for America, believes 271 million travelers will fly between June 1st and August 31st, smashing the record set last summer. Dan Grossman, Scripps News, Denver. The Montana Attorney General's Office and the Montana Highway Patrol are reminding motorists to be safe as we enter the 100 deadliest days of summer. The time between Memorial Day and Labor Day sees more fatal crashes than any other time of the year. According to MHP, there has already been a 15% increase in the number of traffic deaths on Montana roads compared to last year. MHP says it will increase trooper presence on Montana roads over the summer, cracking down on drunk and impaired driving. They also encourage travelers to always wear a seatbelt, slow down, and follow the speed limit. The popular TV show Yellowstone is filming in downtown Missoula today. Dozens of support trucks descended to that area, and crews that spoke to MTN said they came from Georgia, Los Angeles, and even England. The whole production has been veiled in secrecy with much of the production crew not knowing where or when the shoots were happening until shortly before they took place. Businesses in the area tell MTN they worry that the road closures will hurt their bottom line as it takes away from parking and foot traffic. However, a recent University of Montana study showed that in just one year, that show brought more than $730 million in spending to the state. It was recently announced that the show's prequel, 1923, has moved its second season to Austin, Texas, after shooting the first one in Butte. Only two names are appearing on Montana's presidential primary ballots this year, Joe Biden and Donald Trump. But voters do have another option. MTN's Jonathan Anberian has more on a campaign encouraging a no-preference vote. And how some activists hope it will send a message. For 50 years, Montana law has required that voters in the state's presidential primaries have the option to vote no preference instead of for one of the candidates listed. And some advocates are taking a closer look at that option this year. One group actively encouraging voters to support no preference is Montanans for Palestine, which sees it as a way to protest the Biden administration, which they believe hasn't done enough to stand up against Israel over its war in Gaza. Ultimately, this is an expression of disgust with the president's policies. Last weekend, the group was knocking on doors in Missoula and Bozeman to get out their message. They've put out yard signs in several Montana cities. 
Co-founder Brendan Work says they see this as a low-risk way for people to show they're unhappy with the administration. You know, Biden has already won the nomination, pretty much. You know, this vote is not like a vote for Trump. So it's a good way for people to express their feelings. Um, and it's easy to do. It's right on the ballot. It says Joe Biden and no preference. And uh, that's an easy choice for a lot of us. Work said their initial goal is to get five to be cracking 15% of the vote for no prince delegates for the national convention. This follows visible campaigns encouraging uncommitted votes in states like Michigan and Wisconsin. That vote has often ended up between about 8 and 15 percent in Democratic primaries. Biden has won the overwhelming majority of delegates. In a statement, his campaign said, quote, The president believes making your voice heard and participating in our democracy is fundamental to who we are as Americans. They said he shares the goal of a just, lasting peace in the Middle East. This year, Republicans and Democrats each have only one candidate listed on their party ballot. In recent election cycles in Montana, that's generally been the situation when the highest no-preference vote totals have come. Like in 2012, when no-preference got 9% of the Democratic primary vote in Barack Obama's second run, and 2020, when Donald Trump was the only Republican candidate, and 6% of votes were for no-preference. As of Thursday, almost 448,000 absentee ballots have gone out across Montana, and 89,000 of them have already been returned. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. Well, getting kids interested in reading can sometimes be a challenge, especially during the summer months. And that's the reason for this blue box at Bench Elementary. It's a little free lending library where kids can take books home. It's all part of an effort to get more books into kids' hands. Donors pitched in to get it up and running. And the kids we talked to, well, they seem pretty excited. Check out this one. What do you like about that? What good? That it has froggies in it. I picked the captain. I picked Captain Captain Underpants. Captain Underpants. To get them excited about reading is it's really special these days because a lot of times they just rather have an iPad. So to see them this excited about having a book to read and being able to take it home is really neat to see. All of the students of the school are welcome to borrow from the library during the summer months. Still ahead on the MTN 430 News here on Q2, a landmark agreement may signify a new era in college sports. We'll have details in just a bit. But next, a beautiful spring day on the weather front after yesterday's storms. There's more rain on the way. Jason will let us know right after the break.